a clear on tonight. Um, let me just double check if I can hear me. Hope you can, otherwise I can hear myself look like a dim. Div. Uh, it's short quality. Okay, well, you can definitely hit me. This is just making me embarrassed. Okay. So, um, tonight, hello, first of all, hello, everybody. I hope you're having an amazing day, slash evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, tonight is TRM, the finale of TRM. Um, we are racing at France, Le Castellet, whatever you want to call it. Um, leave Red Bull's already won the Constructors, which I'm very happy about. Uh, <laughs> been a phenomenal season. We've had a few good, a few good battles, and we've got decent chance of somebody new to win here today. Since I mean, TRT Kieran seems to be the most obvious choice, but in actual TRM. But I do feel like Sim Sim stand a chance. Sim's been setting some consistent laps. It depends on if he fluffs the strategy like he did last week, because last week he could have won, but. Made a little mistake that left, let him on a little bad pass, didn't pick, and the other people were on faster tyres and he just couldn't gain the time back. I need to turn my TV down so you don't all get bullied by the TV. So. Um, well, I don't really know what else to say to be honest. Um, hi, I'm Apex Driving. Hello. Hello, um, Apex, and hello, Karen Froome. Uh, Sim's taken a, 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 a what, nice run off there. He's eternal telemetry and stuff. Very, very bad, very uh, oh, look at the tiles. tiles. Um, Captain Saha and Jake says they're on the medium. Are they? There they are. Who's actually setting a lap for us? I think we'll see. Uh, who? Lamriel. Who's setting his lap? There's a yellow flag in there. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's just a hazard. Oh, oh god, Sim Wars just went into the back of Matty. Oh, and he's almost just went into the back of Captain Saha as well. Matty's almost done it as well. But there we go. Anyway, run back on. Run back. Run back with them. That's just Captain Saha. Yellow flag here. I need to get some of the corner names up because I'm I, I don't understand what the corners are. He's going down a straight. He's um yeah. He's going around the corner. I don't. I can gain time three seconds. Right? There's just this like this corner here. If you go a bit too deep, you get a warning. As I found out found out in the T3 race, which should be obvious. But it's so hard to take that flat. I was chasing down an Alpine and I was too scared to make a move down the DRS street because I was gaining too much and every time I'd only be enough to go side by side with him into the corner. And I wasn't trying to risk that on my last race. So then we're going I'm catching up on him around there and I mess myself up. We both get a penalty, but he gains time from it. Lamriel says a 130.9, which is a very fast time anyway. Um Apex is coming with it. Who's up next? I think it might be Rambo. Oh, no, it's Jake. It is Jake on the medium compound of cars. Jake is getting promoted to tier 1, I believe, so this will be his last race as a member of the tier 2. A member of tier two. Same with the Matty. Matty's going up as well. Kieran from is always relegation. Uh, Rambo is, I believe, sadly going down. Jake. This sets a 131.6 there. Sim goes a 131.6 as well on the softs. Airblack did a 142.8 on the softs. He's currently off the track. I think that is a machine. He's coming to set his lap on that. Is it Captain Saha was on? Oh wait, no, it was invalidated. It was a 137.7, but it isn't validated, so the time will not count. And you're going on with um, Rambo. Can he redeem himself? Nicely for you, very nice. Nice and flowy. The RS wide open. Down the final straight, it's better different angle on this. 
a set of 131.8 on the soft compound the type as the Ferrari of Apex comes out of the pits. Um, trying to think about who else we could watch. Seems to me like Ed, well, Ed Rush might be trying to improve his lap. Let's have a look at this. There. Yellow flies behind, not really sure what that's about. Oh, I'm not thinking about Jake. Yeah, it's Jake. It's either Jake or Matty or Sim. Well, I think it is it's Sim. Jake or Sim, that's good to get the there. But it's Air Blatch, I think. He, yeah, he's 8 seconds. He's 8 seconds faster than last lap, so he's definitely trying to do that. Oh, but that was tight. He must have run over there. Lucky he didn't know. 30, 31, 31.8 on the soft is a very valid lap and puts him ahead of Rambo, which is still very good. This is short quality, so everybody just needs to set the fastest lap they can do. Um, I feel like there is some sort of strategy behind people going on the mediums. I thought this was Q1 a minute ago, so that threw me a bit, but we have some decent things going on there. Captain Saha is going out in the lap, I think. He's very nice through the first corners. I either feel like I take too much of the second curve, lose time or I go extremely wide or the odd times I nail it I mess up in this corner and do exactly what he just did but he cuts too much of the curb and it invalidates <laughs> seems like a wide as well I go wide there and invalidate um, I don't really know who's going to watch now Kieran Froome now Kieran Froome's going back into the pits we get a list in the next lap and validation so he's just going into the pits to skip it that would make sense, I guess. It would make a bit of sense. Um, I did watch Apex. Have a look at how he is around here. Nicely through there. Doesn't take any of the curve in that first in the en entrance. It's a bit interesting. Um, yeah. Um, I, if, how many viewers do we have? Eight, apparently. I had 14 once, and that was with Thomas, but now I'm by myself because Thomas is non-existent at the moment. Oh, that is a yellow flag, and that is a Red Bull of Lamb. I think he is just going slow. Yeah, he's letting Apex pass, so that's in there. Just letting him pass. Quite nice through there. Not twitchy. I think I saw a couple of people driving in tier 2 and going a bit twitchy through there. Probably like me last season. Didn't wasn't very fast, I just got lucky. And he takes some of that car in that corner. I'm surprised, whenever I do that, I end up backwards like I did twice yesterday. No, not yesterday, I did it on Saturday. When I could have probably got maybe seventh if I wasn't an idiot. Um, but anyway, we move on, and Apex is set in a 30, 30.8, which is the fastest lap of the Grand Prix so far. I just under a tenth. He is, he is in the 8, but Lamriel got a lowish 9, and he got a, he's fairly high, so he's about 7 hundred behind him. Easily doable. Captain Saha is now on his third lap with those, and that... Uh, that was JKR. I think he's going for a fast lap. Captain Saha's invalidated again. He should just pit. Those tyres are starting to get old, and maybe a bit... I don't really know how to say it, but... Maybe a bit worn, that's the word I was thinking. Matty, he's got, he's invalidated as well. Invalidation galore. TRT Kieran as well, we should probably watch this. Does seem to be a very fast lap, he's already, he's coming into the penultimate couple of corners. On a 1 minute 19.20. Kieran threw and forgot his setup. Oh my god, Kieran, what are you doing? TRT Kieran sets a 29.8. What a lap. That is a lap and a half right there. Very quick. Very, very quick. I think we're going to ride on board with Matty now. The goat of tier 2 on question. Oh, and he's just invalidated. As I was about to say, the goat of tier 2. Matty, you ruined your shot, mate. Oh, who's that coming up behind him? Um, Rambo? No, nope. Rambo is... Uh, I don't know if that was a spin-off who was doing some celebratory donuts. 
This is the last day, so I will be happy to see some donuts. I was the only one, I'm the only one who's done donuts in this 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 time, so I'm a bit sad. No one else has done any donuts. Um, Raz, if you want to hop in, feel free. Um, my mic is a bit crap, but <laughs> I, I don't know where the other one is. I'm gonna need to go to like I don't really know. I can get to this first one. Raz did donuts. Ah, oh, Raz, you're Raz, you. I'm happy you're coming to tier two now, Raz. I'm not the only one. The cool kids club is tier two. I know tier M is my tier, but I do feel like tier two is definitely the, the funnest tier to race in. Good news, like I get tier mixed is good because like you're racing against people of mixed paces and see how you do. But tier two is just amazing. The people are so nice there. Teammates are awesome. Like I had Brown Wolf at the start of the season. I didn't know how nice he was going to be, but he is awesome. Kieran's built a relationship with Matty. Oh, tier two is amazing. Uh, yeah. If you get a 29.8 Apex, that'll be phenomenal. We're also watching Matty. I'll say it again, Matty. The goat of tier 2. Now, don't invalidate here. He, he hasn't invalidated. Come on, Matty. Come on. Raz. 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 Yeah. Raz. I don't actually know if you can include your audio, Raz. But if you can, that's great. Yeah. Did you, were you able to include it yet? Like yesterday with Harvey. Wait, was it yesterday? Or was it two two? Uh, uh, yes. It didn't work with Chase. Yeah. I mean, you still can. I mean, they can probably hear you through my shocking mic. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we have the tier I three winner. Can. Yeah, we have the tier three winner here. So. We're balling at the moment, and Matty sets up 31.4. I mean, you can join and commentate, and they'll probably hear you through my mic. If not, I'll repeat what you say. Yeah. Yeah, Tom did that. I need to get a new mic, if I'm honest. I don't know where to get one from. My mic is knackered, and it doesn't help. I'm an idiot and stand on the wire every other, every other minute. Mm. Do you need an invite to the game or are you in the lobby? Nah, I'm already in. Alright, that's good, that's good, that's good. I should probably I turn... Mm. Mm. Yeah. Up. I haven't played contact rugby in two years and we had double, we had a double PE, le we had double PE today and we had to do double contact rugby. And I'm, I'm quite skinny so it's not because <laughs> I'm bruised as... I'm there at football. Football's more of my thing. Not enough, not as much contact. Mm. Who are we getting? Who should we watch? Kieran Freem, he's retired, I think. He's just retired at the bits. Captain Saha's the only one to not set a lap. He's invalidated again. I think Captain Saha's invalidated. Oh, he's about to drive into the wall. He hasn't, though, if that's good. Kieran Froome, I, I, Kieran, I remember me and you in tier 2, we were like the last people out every single time, I don't remember seeing a, a Haas do donuts, I remember seeing a Haas frantically cutting all the corners to try and beat me to the finish line, so he would have something for Harvey to brag about, but, um, no, Harvey, so he would have something to brag about to Harvey, but it's, I still don't think it worked, so... I can't remember the last, like, tier 1, people were, like, tier 1 season 1, people were going out on inters and doing laps, but of course, that's not allowed anymore, so, yeah. people aren't doing that this season. Also, the same with last season, people could go on inters and do donuts. Mm. Yeah. After the end of the races, I think it was after the end of tier M. Oh, that was almost very odd. Captain Sons. Mm. Did Black Wolf race? Oh. 
I remember mine, I did something quality and then at the end I was the last person to cross the line so I did a little bit of a celebratory dance. Um, I was I was on a Discord call with Kieran actually, Kieran Froome, when he was racing. He saw Ra he saw Rambo DNF and he started celebrating because as long as he got a point it would mean he would get out of relegation. Wreck DNF'd as well, he started screaming at the top of his lungs. And next thing you know, I, see, I hear, I'm going to go at 40 miles per hour so I don't crash. Mm. So I keep on just see, seeing a bunch of yellow flags, like, a minute behind. He's dropping, like, 10 seconds every lap. Mm. And then, I try and let Sully pass without letting Lewis pass, because I want, I want to... I want to have a good battle like I had in the first stint with him. So, and then next thing I know, he flies around the outside of me and Sully and I get stuck with Sully. Sully's faster than me, he pulls away from me. I'm just desperately trying to hold on. Doesn't work. I spin pushing and then I lose the position. This is why you don't get used to letting people pass so you don't turn into me. Also a hint, never let Kieran Froome pass in a race. It does, it does not turn out well. I think I let him pass to like Brazil or something, and the next thing I see is Tasty doing a barrel roll in the wall. Brazil was so questionable in tier 2. There were a few, like it was good racing, but I remember this one point, I think it was Shane who was behind me in a Ferrari. I got, he spun, I got an illegal overtake, so I was letting him pass, and he just went straight on the corner. He, I think he got a puncher though, so I don't really know what happened. But. And then I s mm. 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 Yeah. Oh, can I just Monza Monza last season I was definitely not happy because I was trying to keep my fourth place from I think it was owning Lawsy. I think that's the first time he raced. He's like one of Lemons' friends. I don't he doesn't have the game so I don't think he can race this season. He's a very quick driver, I remember that. Um, I was trying to hold off my fourth place. I got a puncher, and then Kieran and Michaela both overtook me. It wasn't ideal. I was panicking for the rest of the season. And Cap, oh no, that's not Captain Saha, that's TRT Kieran. Did a little bit of a dance there. Always nice to see. Then he goes fifth. That's a, that's a pretty good laugh. 31.2. Solid lap. Oh. Matty? What about Matty? Matty, can you do? Six tenths. 30.4. Goes third. Matty. The goat. Oh, you should have seen tier 2 race chart the other day with Matty and Kieran. It was heartwarming. Oh, no, Matty was bigging him up before the race. Kieran was like, no, I'm do I'm going to DNF, I'm going to DNF. He screams, and the first person to say, let's fucking go, Kieran, is Matty. You can just hear on the screen, but literally, it's the last lap. They're, they finished near each other, I think. Like, Matty and that were racing, and you just hear Matty's race at the end. Go about tier one, and then you hear Kieran screams from the yes. He's made it. <laughs> the little boy, Kieran, who got lapped four times at Singapore in, like, 20 laps. And who couldn't stay on the track. Gaza made the fun of him, I think. I think it was Gaza and Matty that actually commentated Tier 3 Mini ch Championship um, Singapore. Marty, I hope you crash. Marty, I hope you crash. Matty, okay. As, uh, <laughs> I was about to say who's Marty. Anyway, so we have Corley. Um, do you want to go first or shall I go first? Uh, TRT, TRT Kieran in first. Okay, Jake, go on. Second. Third is Matty. Lamb. Same, 
Air Blatch. Captain Saha. For once, we didn't have to rush it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not. That's that's my tactic for every race. It looks grim. The race looks like it's going to be grim. Absolutely grim. Um, I didn't see that, Rumbo. Will there be post-race interviews? Um, probably. I don't know if you'll be able to hear yourself. Is Tom Tom there? No, no, no. Tom isn't here. Tom's having a break. It's Raz with me. Raz. Can't include his audio because I don't know why. Couldn't do it yesterday with Jake either for a post-race interview. But you can still, if, if the po whoever the podium positions are, whatever tier, you get an interview. If you would like, if you would like, and we can hear him. Okay, good. Sipping on water. Don't ask me why, but the corner shop near me sells canned water. It's like, it's all right. The race is drier, yeah, no, I, I'm telling you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to race in this. It looks like it could pour it down any second. I think I put, yeah, we, I did put formation lap on, which is always good. Put it on tyres for the start. Thing. You know what, I feel, I'm going to go with my boy Lamb for, for the last race of the season. We got the Red Bull. Constructors for tier 4 Red Bull. Absolute legend. Yeah, Taku and Red Bull. Absolute goats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember my nerves on the final race of Tier 3 for get, getting that top 4. I'd had it for the entire season, and I wanted it, and my 6 luckily couldn't race. So, yeah. Although, I haven't actually said congratulations. Well, I have, but not on stream. Congratulations on winning Tier 3, Ralph. Consistency is key. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Wait, is that Nason six six seven eight? That one. Oh, six, I remember six, six. him. Yeah, like I remember him. He used to race for Red Bull with Pete. Somebody is screaming outside my window. They just came back from the pub. That's not a good sign. Mm. Well, if I'm, if we're going, we'll go top three casually, and then we'll go top three purely on tier M. So I think that just the top three is probably going to be like Matty, Jake, and if Captain Saha gets a good race, maybe. But I think the realistic option is Kieran. And if <laughs> if we're going if we're going based on just tier tier um, it's gonna be well there's only three. Four it could actually three oh I can't count. Five. Um I think it's gonna be there's a Sim's gonna get up there. A lamb, maybe Kieran. Again, Captain Saha if he gets a good gets a good start. He's in he is in P9 with Kieran for him. Oh, but no line. when you race in tier two, if you're behind Kieran Froome, pull over to whatever side he's not on straight away because he breaks off the start. Anyway, so let's have a look at this. Five red lights, and away we go for the final race of tier one this season. Rambo, Rambo's storming up that outside. He's already up to P5. He's, oh no, he's backing up. Captain Saha's up to P6. Captain Saha's... He got that good start that he needed. Sim's down to P8. Airblatch is down to P9. Airblatch needs to dive on Sim. Bit of contact there. Kieran's just sitting back and admiring all the cars. As usual. Yeah. Kieran goes a bit deep there. Gonna try and stick on the back of Airblatch there. Jake's also steaming. Trying to catch up to Kieran, GLT Kieran. 
I remember when Kieran was tier say. three. I remember when Kieran was tier three. He left after an instant that apparently my six was that thoughtful when my six was in P11 and ten was me. And that is Captain Sarha spinning sideways off the track. I think he like turned into someone called I don't you won't know them, but there was someone called Leon in the server. He was a really fast driver. Turned into Leon, who then hit into Tom, who then hit into Lemons and DNF Lemons. Yeah, it's complicated. Anyway, so Jake Awara is currently Well, not really closing. I'd say it's a bit equal. He's getting, he's closing on the straights, but he's also losing a bit of time on the exits of corners and entering entrance entrances. My English is not very good. TLC Karen's so the fastest lap. It is only the first lap, so can't really set a faster lap. From the seat, it's still Jake and Karen that's the closest. Matty's lagging behind a bit. Yeah. One thing I will notice, Karen from has dropped off almost two seconds to the back of her blatch. Now it is two seconds. Mm. He is catching yeah. on Kieran. No, Kieran Froome is on mediums as well. Yeah. The dynamic duo at the back. Uh, but actually gets a three second time penalty. Mm. Kieran, can I just say, Kieran stormed down. He's gained five tenths in that last little corner and now he's losing all again. And that's Apex, Apex and Lamb. Lam has to back out a bit, but he's going to carry on going on. Carry on going in. So I've a bit of contact there. Get Lam where I get force wide. Enters back onto the trap there. No, no more contact, I hope. Mm. Yeah. You already on 60% of your rest, and it's only lap three. Kieran Froome gets a three-second time penalty as well. As well. Gonna wait a bit. We're gonna see a comeback from Sim. That's my question. I had a bit of a dodgy start, but are we gonna see a comeback? Do you think we will? I think he. Well, if Sim gets, let me check the standings quickly. I want to check. I think if Sim gets like a certain place, then he gets promoted to tier three. But I don't think he can race it. Sim's gone for a dive. He's gone for a dive. Fair play, that was a good dive. And they both just spun. They both just spun. Oh god! I look away from my phone for one second to check your standing. Oh, well, Kira Froome's now up to 7th, beating Rambo again in the rematch, and Rambo's just spun again. It's all going wrong for Rambo, he's such a quick driver, he just gets so unlucky. This is an exact remake, lap 3, exactly, spins on lap 3 again, that's just a why have I checked tier 3 standings? This isn't tier 3. Mm. Probably be a good idea. Get the move done nice and early. Mm. Yeah, so... Um, if Kieran gets a win today... He'll be on 25, which puts him on 77 points. Sim is currently on 68. So he needs roughly about 10. If he gets 10, if he gets 10 points, if he gets 5th, which currently at the moment, if he doesn't DNF, then he's going to get 5th. It means he gets promoted. Well, doesn't really, but yeah. Whatever. Uh, 
is still Jake. It doesn't have the AI symbol next to it. Mm. Yeah, he probably did. Maybe his wheel disconnected or something. Kind of, wait, is Karen on AI? I thought Karen was just on AI there. Sim is coming. Yeah, Rambo probably has put his Rambo already been lapped. Oh yeah, so he's on the process. He's in, in the process of being lapped. Yeah. Soft are probably gonna be a bit worn up by that spin. Sim's got the number 23 on his hat, which I really like. Why? Because 23 is the number. 23 is the number on my football shirts. I am number 23. And it's also the number on my car in the game. Because <laughs> I'm born on the 23rd of April. Which was USA. Mm -hmm. Karen's just let Captain Star hop by. Karen? <laughs> James, it's Kieran. Fuck off. Yeah. Bram Wolfson. He's a bit late. We're on lap six. That's a McLaren. I think that's a McLaren spin. Was that Rambo? Yeah, it was. The Rambo spun again. Oh god. Oh yeah, you get to pick your car for next season. What car do you reckon you pick? cool but I just I've just got over it now it's just kind of normal yeah. now I, it's a bit mm. Alpine is I like the colors on Alpine more I have to say. yeah so the t I forgot how it works because last season it was confusing because the winner of tier 3 got sent to tier 1 so yeah that's only once. Can I just say, I don't know how the heck I've actually managed this, but I think I've got into the top 10 in tier 2. Because I'm on 37 and Chaos is on 37, but I got the I got points first in the thing, and S comes before W, so I think I'm going to be ahead of him, which puts me in pot 1 for tier 2 somehow. I don't know how, but I've managed to scramble. Top 10, even top 11. Kieran threw another penalty there. Are you looking forward to the off season stream as well, by the way? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That was a bit of contact. Karen and Captain Saha, three second time penalty for Saha. Sector two, that's Rambo again, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Karen's going for the strategy I used on Saturday, I think. 10 laps on mediums, 10 laps on mediums, seven laps on softs. It's way easier than the medium hard strategy. And he's just flown down the inside, there's a bit of contact. Can I just say for the first for the first time I have absolutely no clue what's happening in the off season stream. 
I could kind of see the merch coming because I had a little few tits in there because I'm a commentator, I hear stuff that not many people do. But honestly, I I know absolutely nothing this time, so it's extremely interesting. Yeah, no, I know this, I know, I know the big bits, I know the big bits, but there's some bits that I don't know. That's Rambo again. Oh god. Rambo, mate. Oh no, I feel bad for him. Mm. Mods are completely, like we, being a mod is absolutely fun. Like when I first joined the server, I thought there was no chance of me getting any job in staff. Just purely and simply because of how crap I was at F1. Like when I first joined, I was horrendous. Like I could just about compete with Helios and Swiss J Dog in the tier 2 Bahrain race. And I still ended up losing to them. Yeah. So have I, you should see my... I went on F1 2020 the other day. Went into China, which was obviously the first race... No. Yeah, the first ever tier 3 race. China, and I was a part of it. I'm proud to say that. <laughs> um, I improved my time by like 3 seconds in the first lap. And there's at least 2 seconds in there. And bear in mind... I've been through three of these now. Three off season streams. Yeah. yeah. I remember I remember you joining then and when you guys when you like you Victor Elicto and a couple others joined, I was like, Oh well, they shouldn't be that fast qualifying, you absolutely blew me out of the park. I was like, what the fuck? He's just shown me up in his first race. The re yeah. I would have been more of a challenge. Yeah, you beat me by like two tenths at China. And then in the race, I was in the race I had a lot more race pace and then I got knocked off a bit by anime. And then I just couldn't scramble back to get the points. And then mm. And then in Abu Dhabi, I was so panicky I couldn't keep a straight. I couldn't keep a. I couldn't keep the car straight. I was wriggling all over the place. Crafty kept on. Crafty, Crafty was holding me up, so I sent one around the outside. Got the move done. Accelerated for my life. My teammate let me pass, which is always good. And that is. Kieran Froome. He's just gone off the track completely. I don't know what's happened there. But. Yeah. Yeah, last season was a stress. Like, mm. yeah, like the first couple of races, I didn't really think anything of it. Like Great Britain was just like, oh yes, another race, another podium. I'm smashing it this season. Podium every race. Vietnam hit hard. I got out. I got out qualified whole qualified p11 had a good start got up to p4 by the first corner got brake checked had to pit by the first lap crafty jumped kieran into the pit and then kieran shoved him out of the way my teammate absolutely assassinated himself for bumping into the back of crafty got banned from the league for it um sundry and lettuce went on a rampage at i don't know who it was for taking them out even though he, did, he didn't take him out he took himself out um and then it was just absolutely shocking and then it started raining at the end of the race to make matters worse and but it actually kind of helped me because i ended up scrambling and got p4 i never took a race as i never went into a race quite as confident again why i'm always shaking before the races is the reason why i'm nervous because you don't know what's going to happen 
like yeah. tier three hungry. I thought lemons had it in the bag, and then the first thing I see is owning lemons DNF'd, and I get spun round first corner, and I just see Thomas in the wall as well. It's like oh god, everything's going my way. I'm in P1. I'm leading. Black Black Wolf gets sent into the wall. I'm now winning because Leon's a reserve, and then. I get a three second penalty on the last couple corners and Tom gets by. So it's literally for track position because we have the same amount of penalties. It's for track position and he gets by on the last couple corners so I can't win. And then I, and then I s mess myself up panicking and I almost lose to Kira Froome. Anyway, you should probably... Yeah. 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 Let's have a look at. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at. Oh yeah, the flag is that Rambo again. Please don't tell me that's Rambo. It's Rambo. At this point it's just sad. Anyway, for penalties you have Kieran, TRT Kieran on three, Matty on three, Apex on three, Air Blatch on nine, Kieran Froome on nine, and that's Rambo spinning again. Oh my god. Um, Captain Saha on six and Rambo on three, and he's been lapped by Matty. The redemption hasn't gone too well. Yeah. Lamreal gets a three second time penalty. I'm actually very intrigued to see who's actually gained the most positions because not many people have. Rambo's almost spun again. Kieran Froome's gained three. And the people who've lost the most are Sim and Rambo. Two and two. He's pitting again, I think he's retiring in the pits. He's got five seconds, yeah, he's probably given up. Wouldn't be surprised if we see Rambo Lorien retire. Captain Zaha picks up a three seconds. He's not giving up, he's... He's just pitting. He's about to get lapped by Kieran Froome, oh god. Kieran Froome is just, he's been lapped by Kieran Froome. I feel bad, Rambo. He might have had he might have had a worse start than me at Belgium. Although I don't know if that's actually possible. I got brake checked in Eau Rouge at the pit in the first lap. My AI drove me into the wall whilst I was clipping something. Had to pit again. Spun twice around Eau Rouge in the next two laps. There's a safety car. Safety car Delta didn't let me overtake my teammate in the pit, so I got trapped behind a lap behind everyone, and then I got blue flags and a rouge, and the game randomly spun me into the wall. Oh no, Rambo. <laughs> no. Go on, Kira. Oh wait, no, Karen. I think Sims caught up to Karen. Karen still hasn't pit, and Rambo's just spun again. Oh, at this point, it's just this point. At this, point, it's just sad. It's just so sad. He's such a quick driver. Is it like I don't? He doesn't deserve to get relegated. He's so consistent. He's like consistent, he sets consistent laps, but it's just, I, he just keeps on getting screwed over. Like even if it's just the, the tiniest spin, he spins so much more and he's been lapped by the entire field now, I feel awful for him. I, it's happened to me twice that I've been lapped by the entire field. Once at Monaco season 2 and once at Belgium this season. Yeah. That's what happened with me as well. Couldn't get back in the lobby. There's been a couple of fantastic, like there's been a couple races that went absolutely phenomenal for me. Abu Dhabi and Mexico. 
I had a Brazil dry setup on for Mexico wet, and I got P6, which I was gassed about. And then I somehow got P4 in my first ever tier 2 race. Luck was on my side in that race, not a single penalty. One warning from letting Matty past. Um, TLT Kieran gets another 3 second time penalty. Um, yeah. Um, not gonna, when I saw fourth place pop up on my screen at Abu Dhabi, I thought I was dreaming. I kicked my, I kicked, my, my bread's on a frame. I kicked my bed. And Jake Oar, he's got past. He's got past. So he started on negative three. 14, I think it is. Yeah, about 14. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. either way. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. And now he's pulling away, and now we have another 13 laps of nothingness. Please don't touch the car, I don't want another spin. I feel bad enough for Rumble already. Is Kieran, Kieran Froome still hasn't pit? What's he doing? Kieran Froome hasn't pit. Unless he's trying to get himself a puncher on purpose. Why? Is it like a uh, memorable or like too long? I remember the first time I actually got noticed on the stream. Oh god. Kieran is here I'm free. And Rambo's just unlapped himself. He, yeah. Like, does he actually? Yeah, see, what did I tell you? He was going for a puncher. We could, re we could, we should recreate Travis and David, he's got a puncher. He's got a puncher. Oh my God, Pebbles has got a puncher. Pebbles has got a puncher. Kieran Froome's got a puncher. Oh my God. Yeah. I had to drive half a lap. Yeah. I had to drive half a lap with a tire like that. At Monza, like I, w I love <laughs> oh oh yeah, like I think yeah probably hard. I think he's he's trying to mess himself up. Here. He's got he's been overlapped as well now. Here I has. Yeah, well. As I was saying, um, the thing, the first time I got, got noticed in an F1 AB stream, what's he doing? He's trying to do donuts with full traction control, I think. He's trying to do donuts with full traction control. <laughs> he's, done, he's done one. Hey, he's done it. He just drove into the wall. <laughs> oh, if he does bring out a safety car. Well, now what's he doing? He's just cutting the whole corner. Garen, what are you doing? Surely this isn't allowed. He's been overlapped by Sim. Kieran, drive normally. What are you doing? <laughs> this is first race. Oh, Kieran, what are you doing? There's a steward watching you, Kieran. There's a steward watching you. Oh, hi. My cat's here now. He's come to watch the race. Hi. Hmm. 
Mine is probably. I have three. Monza. Monza, Abu Dhabi, or uh, Japan. Monza, Abu Dhabi, or Japan. What's he doing? He's got wing damage and he's not pitting. Yeah. Monza, I think, because I went the entire race on a set of mediums. Like 20 odd lap. 26. Yeah, no, I got wing damage on lap one. I was on softs. So I pit for mediums and I didn't have to pit again for the rest of the race. Because I was scared if I pit, then I'd lose too much time. And I was stupid. So I didn't pit. And I did like 26 laps on mediums. And I got a puncher. Yeah. They weren't like, like my, all of my other tyres were on 99% and one of them gave up on the last corner. Yeah. One of them gave up on the last corner. And like the last couple corners, I think. And Kieran and Makeda got past me. And they both got like sevens and eights. And I had to settle for nine. And I was in a ninth place class until Hungary. Rambo was just spun whilst overtaking Kieran Froome again. Oh my god. This is just painful. Um, Japan. Anyway, let's go on to my next most memorable race. Japan. Crashed out in quality, starting dead last. I think it was like P14 I started. Jumped up to P8 on the launch. Two people spun in the S's. I'm already up to P6. Kieran Froome lets me pass up to P5 on the first lap and then stay in P5 for a couple of laps, crafty, crafty force quits, I'm up to P4, uh, Pete's ahead of me, Pete spins and has to pit, and then Pete pits again in the safety car for softs, um, I get ahead, Kieran's retired in the pits, I don't know why, um, yeah, and then I got past Pete on the safety car restart, he dove he dove on me, spun himself out. I frantically moved out of the way so my teammate got past, I was down to fourth still then. Fourth. My six and Tom were running away. And then on the last lap, I caught up to my teammate and overtook him around the final couple of corners. It didn't really matter because he had a three second time penalty. But <laughs> mm. I mean he's on eleven laps, he's probably just gonna try and hold it off the soft. And then Abu Dhabi, yeah, Abu Dhabi for obvious reasons. And mainly, I'm just still happy that David said Sammy got fourth because normally nobody recognises where I placed high. I feel bad for Rambo. He's like a lap down. Penalties, he's on 14 seconds, TLT Kieran's yeah. on 12. Matty's third. Go on, go on Matty. Go on Matty. Airblatch fifth? Hold up, so at the moment, Kieran gets first. Rambo's spun again. Kieran gets first. I'm not sure. He did spin quite a lot in tier 2. So TRC Kieran's in first, second is Air Blutch, third is Lamoreal, and fourth is Sim. I don't be surprised, Kieran Froome has just retired as well. He put a Go, Ma Go Matty heart. Kieran Froome is. On nine seconds of penalties now. Um. What? So, were you what? Have you ever like, w like before you joined, or when you had to do the trial race? Were you? Did you watch an F1 AB stream before that? Nope. The first F1 AB stream I ever watched was Vietnam Tier Two in Season One. Um, I was watching Tom's race because he wanted me to, he, like, I was new to F1, me and Kieran watched it. Um, and then, he invited me to the league, I was like, no way, I'm too slow. So when I joined, when he finally got me to join, you had to sign up on a Google document, you had to sign up on a Google document. 
the mods didn't actually get it. I took like it took like five hours for someone to see it. Or Tom literally at Gaza and told him about it. And he went through all the teams that had a seat. I chose Alpha Tower because it was the only team that didn't have anybody else in it. And then lots of people left, so I was the only person on Alpha Tower. The next day, someone called Aaron the Apple joins. He's an assassinate. He, he must have been paid to assassinate Crafty, I swear. He hit Crafty in the China. Hit him again. At, he didn't race at Singapore, sorry. Hit him again. Literally drove into the back of him in safety car like four times at Vietnam before he got banned. I really enjoy seeing for Rambo's spin again. Rambo's spun again. You're bad for him, honestly. You, this must be a world record for the most amount of spins in a race. Oh. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. I felt bad for him so much. Like, I really felt bad for him. Airblatch got a five seconds. I when I when I saw yellow flag and Mercedes slowing down, I knew um what's his name Sully was racing Lewis, so it wasn't him. And then I see and then I, it's just dropping back. It 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 really hurt because he had such a bad start to the season. I hold the world record for spinning me. By the end of this, Kieran could overtake Simon driver standing through. Which means Kieran would be in tier three. Sim just needs to finish. Sim needs to finish. He needs 10 points to be stay one point ahead. And then he's done it. Unless Sim DNFs, then in that case, Kieran has won. As long as he wins, that is. Closest battle is Apex and Captain Saha. Tier 1? I'm not actually sure. I know who got demoted from Tier 2, who's going to Tier 3. And I think I know who's going to TFM. I think Owen is, unless Owen got a point yesterday. So yeah, Owen's getting relegated again. Captain Saha's just... Oh, that's not very clean. Apex has just barged Captain Saha off the track. I can't clip that because I'm streaming. Sorry, mate. That's... That's awful racing. Yeah. Now the closest battle is TRT Kieran and Matty. Kieran needs 16 points to overtake him. Sim, I don't know how many Sim needs to stay third. As long as Sim finishes in the points, there's no way Kieran can overtake him. He not. I didn't do anything, I held my line, hit me and span. From my POV it looked from my POV it looked like he went for a move down the inside. There was a bit of contact with you two on the entrance of the corner. You went side by side. You you had nowhere to go so you turned for the corner normally and it pushed punch, pushed him off the track. I was about to say punch, but you can't punch an F1 car. Um Yeah, that Can I just say, at the start of the race, I predicted Jake, Matty, and Kieran. You fit. I mean, Kieran's got like four yeah, seconds. Mm. Yeah, yeah. On the exit, he went deep and hit me. Lucky, I got to watch this, and I've only just. How have you only just woken up? Isn't it like 20 past 8 ish? I think it is. Something like that. Matty 2P. Matty 2P? Yeah. I just, we have this. I have to do a little science and stuff. Like a little science. It's really easy though. All you have to do is answer a bunch of questions, like chemistry questions. Easy. 
Like we have, I think I'm the year above you in school. I'm your, I'm doing my GCSEs this year. Yeah. Um. So like what, what I've done for science is science is compulsory in my school. We have chemistry, biology, and yeah. So we had a chem like questions we have to do is on chemistry. So for our homework, we have to do like say 80 questions on chemistry. They're like little simple questions, um, just little questions about chemistry. It take you like 15 minutes, and then we have to do a science assessment, which we have due in for the Friday after it gets set, which is usually just like a paragraph about whatever we are learning about. So I don't. Kieran rooms in year nine, I think. Yeah, no, I know Kieran will get points for first place. Anyway, as I was saying, like. So, Kieran Froome's in year 9, Kieran Froome gets set like assessments, you were in year 9 last year, did you get set like assess assignments that you had to do online? Yeah, they get set on online assignments that they have to do, the only difference is we still get set assignments but most of them are like handed in and you have to go to different classrooms to, depending on what teacher sets you them, because you have like loads of different teachers. So. Like, the other day I had a teacher called Miss Wright, and then today I had a teacher called... Oh. Yep. Oh, God. Uh, uh, Rambo gets the three seconds. 18 seconds, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a tier two reserve, I think. He's like Aston Martin tier two, I think. It's the reserve lineup. But anyway, yeah, so today I had a teacher called Dr. Masters who has a master degree in science. Oh my god, this is very questionable. I'm gonna go on this car. Apex on that. He's on 22% ERS. I was probably on level on this. I was probably on like 6% by this time. Anyway, yeah, so we get the like, different teachers every lesson and we get set assignments for that. So let's say, um, who's my biology? I have a teacher called Mr. Knight for biology every three, four days, I think. Um, and he'll either set us an online thing or we'll do a quiz in, or we'll do like a quiz in class. But we also have, like, if a teacher isn't in, we have to do an, like a, test which is always annoying so sometimes science is just all right if you have a decent teacher like almost every lesson's all right if you have a good teacher but like when you have you picked your options oh yeah you have because you pick them in your nine don't you yeah so i dropped like i had history and geography like i'm good at geography like i'm good with flags and everything but i dropped geography for history it is simply because I'm just better at history. I'm like, but because. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Our school is a bit weird, like even in even in year 11, we still go on trips, which I get is like it's days off school, so I couldn't, shouldn't be complaining. But like, I think it's near the end of the year. The te one of our, his like the head of history is taking a bunch of year 11s on a trip to Auschwitz. Which I think is a bit weird. Like, I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I wanna go. I mean, yeah, it's cool, but it's also not very cool, if you know what it means. Yeah. Like, it's a fascinating trip, but it's not fascinating at the same time, because you'd literally be standing on, like, a thousand... More than a thousand dead bodies. Oh, my God. This is right. We're just talking about homework and assignments. 
You get you barely get any free time. <laughs> it's a very close battle, it's very entertaining. You'll probably get this for the season highlight stream. Like the season highlight stream. Yeah. I can do geography with flags, capitalism. Nazi German. Yeah. Yeah. He's still keeping on the edge of my seat. Oh, God. Captain Zaha's joining in. Yeah, can I? I haven't been very active because all the homework is piling up. So, like, geography. Geography assignments would be due on Thursday, which probably give me a bit of lenient time. But histories are always due on a Wednesday to a sun. Like, a Friday, which is always really annoying because Wednesday I also have to do my English assignments, which is always English assignments are always. Yeah. Oh no! Huh? What's he? What has he done that? Hey, I have no clue what's happened. Come on, Saha, come on. Oh, what? I'm sorry, what? Was that, does that count as a retire on track? I can't clip that, can you? I ran out of fuel. He says he ran out of fuel. Oh. I don't know what happened. It seems it just look. It looks like your car got. It just looks like you you retired your car. You go back to the pits and retire. Mm. Trust me, it doesn't. In your 11, it doesn't get any better. You get barely any free time. I have homework due on almost every day other than Monday. This is why the day is best for me to do commentating. Hmm. <laughs> I have no clue. Anyway, so. And. <laughs> Rambo's crossed the line and he's doing a little bit of a celebrate. Oh my god, he's he's crashed before the line. Oh no. Oh no. Anyway. <laughs> what has happened? Oh. Yeah. Everyone had a bit. Everyone had a big gap except everyone had a pretty big gap. Well, Kira and his lot. Wait, Lamriel's copped it. Lamriel's copped first. He's got first. Well, okay. Yeah, he has, and Tier M he has, and Tier M he has. Um, first place is Jacob R, second is Matty, and third is Lam. <laughs> The real top three for TRM is Lamriel, TLC, Kieran, and Sim. There's so many fast drivers in this league that haven't won a race yet. Um, I haven't won one yet. Travis hasn't won one yet. Really? Yeah, he got second in the final race. Me and tier, me and tier three last season, consistent, consistently seventh place, and occasionally getting up in the podium if I'm if I'm lucky enough. I've just gone on to BBC Four. Why have I done that?
I'm an idiot. I just clicked onto BBC4. Oh my god. So, can we, can we get JKOR? And they probably won't be... I mean, not that bad. Yeah, they won't be able to hear. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I think we call I think we just call it out at the moment since you can't include your audio. So, um, thank you all for tuning in to the final tier M race tonight. And don't, don't forget to check into the off-season stream, which I believe is the 2nd of October. Uh, oh, well, 3rd of October then. Um, 3rd or 2nd, either one, whenever we're next Saturday. live. Yes, next Saturday where tier two would be so um as always um i hope you have a fantastic week again don't forget to ch tune into the off-season stream it's gonna be a good one it's gonna be a few big things announced new league firsts all that stuff um and anyway for now see you guys in, see you guys in the next season and do we everybody uh, now it's time to end the stream so i don't look like a dickhead <laughs>